Hi guys, this is Miss Alita. This video is divided up into three parts. In part one, we talk a little bit about happiness and joy, as well as a terrible thing that happened to a city called Samaria. In part two, we talk about a man named Elisha and four men who were known as lepers. In part three, we talk about something that the lepers find what happens to the city of Samaria, and what we can learn from this story. This is part three. If you haven't seen parts one and two, make sure to watch those first. But otherwise, let's jump back into the story. So these men not only found food, but they found so much food that, well, obviously could feed an army. And they found lots of different kinds of food, like soups, meat, fruits, vegetables, everything you could think of. So not only did they find food, they found gold and silver too. They, they took some of that and then they went back and got some more food. But before they could go back for thirds, one of the men said this. They said, we're not doing right. This day is a day of good news. If we are silent and wait until the morning light, punishment will overtake us. Now therefore come, let us go and tell the king's household. So, since they couldn't go to the king's house, because it was in the city and they weren't allowed to go in the city, they instead told the men at the gate about what they found. And then those men at the gate went and told the king's servants, and the king's servants told the king. And the king, when he found out, he was not excited. In fact, he says this, I will tell you what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we are hungry. Therefore, they have gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the open country, thinking when they come out of the city, we shall take them alive and get into the city. So the king decides to send five men out into the camp to search it for anyone, any chance of an ambush. And not only did they search the camp, but they searched the land all around the camp as well and they didn't find a single person. But what they did find was garments, clothing, and seemingly armor. What could that mean? They ran away because they thought that they heard the sound of another even bigger army coming to get them. But it really wasn't. In fact, it was God who made them think that they heard it so that they would run away. And as they ran away, they tore off their armor and even some of their clothes and left them on the ground just so they would have less weight and they would be able to run faster and faster away from what they thought was an army chasing them. And that meant that the Syrian army was really and truly gone and that the people of Samaria could now get the food that they needed from the Syrian army camp. And so the king put the captain in charge of opening the door. This was the same captain that, that doubted that God could provide the food. And the one that Elisha said would be able to see the food, but wouldn't be able to taste it. And as fun and as exciting as it was to be able to open the doors for these people, it was also scary too. Because, well, maybe some of you have seen videos of Black Friday or heard about how crazy Black Friday is for here in Amer us here in America. Except instead of a man opening a store, it's somebody opening the gates of a city full of people desperate for food. And so when the captain opened the gates, everyone was pushing and shoving and so eager to get that food that they ended up trampling him in the process. 
And so Elisha's prophecy came true that the captain would be able to see the food, but he wouldn't be able to taste it. And as unfortunate as it was that he passed away that day, it was a day of good news for many people. Because of all the food and all the stuff that they were able to get, many people were, well, happy. So that brings us back to joy versus happiness. Now, happiness is me focused. It's about yourself. And it's about getting and keeping as much as you can. Whereas joy is more about spreading happiness to others. And it's not just focused on yourself. In our story today, there were people that experienced happiness, like the lepers, when they found the food and when the people of the city of Samaria were able to get the food that they wanted. But in our story today, the lepers were the ones that experienced true joy because they were willing to share what they had with others. And our verse today talks a little bit about joy too. Our verse for today says this, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. From Psalm 100, 1 and 2. And so our verse for this month tells us that joy is experienced when we are connecting and serving not only with other people, but by serving God as well. Whereas happiness is only when you get something for you and yourself. And as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we talk a lot about being grateful or thankful for the things that we have. And joy comes from not only being grateful for what we have in our lives, but the people in our lives as well. And the more we are grateful for the people that are in our lives, the more we will want to give to them and to spread happiness to them. And giving to others, especially those we love, produces joy. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time to see what more you can learn about God from his word. Bye!